she sparked engagement rumors for the last few months after sporting a diamond ring on her left hand. And Kelly Brook has now admitted she proposed to her boyfriend Jeremy Parisi during a romantic holiday to Antigua earlier this month, but he turned her down because he was so embarrassed by her public display of affection. The 38-year-old beauty took it on the chin, however, confessing during an interview with OK! magazine that the mortified French hunk immediately shut her down. Kelly said, when we were in Antigua and the sun was setting and we were up at Shirley Heights I said to Jeremy, will you marry me, and he said, be quiet there are people around. So I tried to propose, but he said it was too busy and told me to be quiet. I've asked him, but it wasn't private enough. The brunette beauty moved viewers when she broke down in tears during a recent appearance on Loose Women, confessing she wished she'd thought about having children earlier. Discussing why she was so overcome with emotion during the TV interview, she elaborated, I just thought when I got pregnant, I'd have a really easy pregnancy and have a baby and everything would be great, and that didn't work out for me Kelly suffered a miscarriage in 2011, so you just have to bear in mind that it's not always going to be as straightforward as you think. If I'd known that in my 20s, I may have taken it more seriously and slowed down a bit. Kelly insisted she's come to terms with the idea of not having children, claiming that she can't see herself slowing down anytime soon. To be honest, I can't see my life slowing down anytime soon so, if I don't have children it won't be the end of the world because I love my life and I'd be giving up a lot to have children, so it's not top of my list," she said. During her appearance on Loose Women, Kelly bravely discussed her heartbreaking miscarriage, which she experienced, while six months pregnant with former fiancé and Scottish rugby player Tom Evans the model turned actress explained that she wished she was told how difficult it would be to conceive in your 30s and would have made different life choices. Kelly's tragic loss occurred in April 2011 and she previously revealed what happened in her autobiography, Close Up, explaining that she also lost a second baby in December that year. She recalled, I hit 30 and I got pregnant, and I said to myself, right, I'm not really ready to have children, but this is an amazing opportunity. I hadn't planned to get pregnant, but unfortunately I had a miscarriage very late along the line. I just feel like, if I'd known in my 20s how difficult having children in my 30s would be, I think I would have made different choices. Adding, I think women think you can go through your life and have a baby whenever you want, well some can and some can't. And I don't think I really realized that and I got so caught up in my world. Now I don't know if I'm going to able to carry a baby, I don't know if that is in my future now. I do feel, not regret, but I think I might have done things differently, I just felt I was in that category of work, work, work and all these opportunities. Kelly added that she was so focused on her career and buying her own home aged 18 that the thought of family was so behind her.
She explained, I spent so much time focused on my career that having a family was so left behind, and now I am in my late 30s. I feel like actually I wish I had kind of thought more about having more children earlier. Read the full story in this week's OK! Magazine, out this Tuesday.